Hi guys, I'm so excited for today's video because today we're going to be doing something fun. And if you've been around for a while, you know that I used to do palette bingos all the time, which is basically just like a random color challenge where you pick a palette and then you have a random number generator pick your shades for you. But today I have something new that I want to introduce and I've used this once on my fashion channel already. I can link that down below if you want to see it. But this is one of the color cubes that were created by Sarah Renee Clark. I think her name is. I want to say she has a YouTube channel. I'm not exactly sure I don't know much about her I found this on I think it was Pinterest I'm trying to open it so I can show you what it is but basically it's just a box that is full of different kind of color combinations you can use this for inspiration if you're painting if you're basically anything that you would need random colors for I can pick out a card this is not the one we're going to use but just so you can see what the idea behind it is so it comes like this. There are a bunch of these in here. Um, this is the color cube number two, if you were wondering. So this one is basically just a blue monochromatic look, whereas, you know, not all of them are like that, but it all comes with like four or five or sometimes six shades, I think. And what I want to do is I want to pick one of these cards and then we can figure out uh, what kind of palettes and stuff that I want to use to create something that is, you know, reminiscent of the color story on the card. So I just thought it could be kind of fun fun little challenge and this I feel like it's different than a palette bingo because I get to choose whatever I want it's just the colors that are already kind of decided for me if that makes sense so I'm thinking that we might get a color combination that maybe I haven't worked with before there's going to be a lot of different like shades of of colors in here so I think we're just going to kind of I don't know get into it right pick one see what happens I have no idea uh where we're going to end up so we're going to be using this <laughs> card today that is that's actually really exciting like I am I was really hoping that we wouldn't get something that was you know a monochromatic blue look but this is fun like this is very fall and you can see here all the shades on the back I will of course link where you can buy this down below if there's something that you're interested in this is not a must by any means and it's just kind of fun you know like I like the options that are in here and I just I like the cards I get really inspired by them and like I said I did even create like outfits using some of the cards from the other cube that I have because I bought the bundle I couldn't help it I don't I don't know did I need it no absolutely not but now that I have them I want to use them so I'm gonna see what I can find that will be suitable for this look. Now, I feel like all of these tones are very kind of fall inspired and they're not primary colors. They definitely have a little bit more depth to them. So I think this is gonna be exciting. I mean, honestly, I probably could use my Blend Bunny blends palette, but I feel like those colors are maybe a little too maybe a little too primary. So I'm gonna see what I can find, but this is gonna be really fun. It's gonna be a very interesting and just like colorful look. And I feel like I haven't been doing that too much lately. So I'll be right back. So I think I have an idea what it is that I wanna do. I've picked out a couple of things that I want to use. I'm gonna start by priming my eyes with my, I almost said Natasha, I'm so used to saying that, but this is actually P. Louise base. I've said that in my last two videos that they did send me this and I've been using it and I've honestly really been enjoying it. Like it's a really good base to work on and I just feel like shadows pop so much more on this than it does on like other primers that I use. So I'm just gonna keep using it. Um, I wouldn't say I've had any problems yet with wear time, but I also haven't been using it that much. So just something to keep in mind. I feel like my review of this is still kind of up in the air, but I do really like it as more of a second impression, even though I've used it maybe six times now, seven times, I'm not really sure, but I've had a good time with it. The only time that I struggled a little bit was when I used it on its own and just put like a nude colored eyeshadow on top. It was just yesterday I wanted to do something really quick so I didn't do like any colors or anything, but I wanted to just cancel out any kind of, you know, redness and stuff. And I did find that it creased a lot when I did that. So it's not gonna be the kind of primer that I wanna use on days where I don't wanna wear makeup. <laughs> Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense, but anyway. Um, I'm really excited for this. So I was thinking, just looking at this, I kind of want to do like these three colors on the top lid and then go with the warmer tones on the bottom. I think that could be kind of fun. I'm not sure exactly like the shimmers that I want to put in yet, but I want to use all of these as matte shades and then we can see where I want to go with the shimmers after. So I have a couple of, I actually want to use my Udensai collab because I feel like uh, the orange and the red is going to be really nice for this. Maybe even the purple. It's not exactly the kind of purple that I wanted though, but I do feel like the 
orange and the red here are pretty similar. And then I think I want to use the Blend Bunny and Ellis palette because I've actually really been enjoying this. I know it's really big. I know it's kind of a pain in the ass, but the shades in it are just so beautiful. And even the shimmers in that palette might pull those in for the rest of the look. But I think I want to start on top. So I'm actually going to start with this palette because I want to use the greens and the blues in here. So I was thinking I really like the greens. Um... So this green up here is going to be quite nice. It's not perfect, but I think that's going to work well. And then I was thinking this teal right here, as well as probably this purple, maybe a mixture of the two purples as like my, my cool tone shades. And I might pull in some of this yellow as well, because I haven't had a yellow yet. I've had more of like that orange shade. So we're going to kind of play around with those, I guess. I'm going to start, I think, with the green green into this blue and then we'll do this purple and this purple is going to wrap around and blend into the orange and the red and the yellow and I think that's going to work well. So yeah, let's go ahead and start with this shade. Now I think that I'm honestly sad that challenges like this or just like creative content in general on YouTube just doesn't really get views anymore and it's it's really sad and I like I I don't like the way that just like the makeup community, I feel like on YouTube has switched. There's just not as many people who are interested in watching people do makeup anymore, which again, like I would feel like if people are sick of the new stuff, like maybe then they would watch something like this, but it's just not the case, you know? I think people are just, I don't know, moving on to more like drama channels and commentary channels and like I'll be the first to admit I watch a lot of that myself so I get why people are interested in it and if I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest which I hate I really have not been watching a lot of makeup content myself lately so I can't sit here and like blame people for not watching when I'm not watching either you know I really have not been keeping up with new releases at all especially when it comes to like mainstream brands. I literally don't even care. Like I used to be able to go into a Sephora and basically know everything that was new. And I would, I feel like I would know more than the, the people who worked there sometimes. Like I would go in and ask for the new uh, release from a brand and people would just look at me like, oh, I didn't even know that was a thing. <laughs> Whereas now I definitely could not do that because I just, I don't care. Like I just follow, I just don't follow it. Like I, I don't know what it is. Like I just, I've realized for myself that I'm way more interested in the fun parts of makeup and mostly just eyeshadows if I'm being honest. I don't remember the last time I bought like a new, like or tried a new foundation, tried a new concealer or anything that would be, you know, not consider like color cosmetics. Like I just, I just don't care to buy those kind of things, you know, because I have the things that I like and I like them and I just don't see any point in buying more because they're just not fun to me. I did make an order from um, Ulta yesterday because I realized that my favorite all time foundation was on half off and knowing myself, it's the Lancome one. I've talked about this many times. It's the Tainty Dole Ultra Wear. Um, foundation and it's just it's just the perfect foundation for me like I literally use it every day and it was half off and it's usually like $60 and I bought three bottles because I'm like I'm not gonna try a new foundation because there is just absolutely no point so I just stocked up because it's gonna save me a lot of money and it's gonna last me for probably a year and then hopefully I can do it again next time and it comes on sale so um, I'm thinking now that maybe this color was a little bit lighter than what I was expecting like it looked very similar in the pan like this is the one that I use so this one and it's looking way more like blue than I kind of was expecting but I think we're just going to use this as inspiration and if things don't show up the same on the eye it doesn't show up the same on the eye like it's not a huge deal so I'm going to move into the purple now I'm going to have to do a little bit more blending this isn't perfect but I just kind of want to put down the shades where it is that I want them before I go in and finesse things but yeah, let me know where you guys are at when it comes to like what and who you watch on YouTube. Do you still watch the same people that you watched years ago? Because I know I don't. Like I've definitely moved into more of watching fashion content and stuff like that. And it's something I really enjoy. And I like making that content too. But I just feel like I've been in a bit of a slump when it comes to YouTube and like motivation in general lately. And like I know it'll pass, but... 
I definitely, when it comes to watching stuff, I'm way more interested in fashion than I am in makeup. And I can see myself putting more of my focus into my other channel at some point. I'm not sure when that will switch, not saying that I will ever leave this channel because I love what we have together built here and I love you guys who watch and I just think that I have the sweetest audience ever. Like you guys are always just so supportive and so nice and I really appreciate everything that you, you know, told me in the past couple of months. You know, I've been going through some, some rough shit and it's just been nice to know that, you know, you guys are still here. Like you're still supporting me and that just means more than you can ever imagine. Like I know I don't usually say say a lot in my YouTube videos other than trying to be, you know, straight to the point and stuff, but just know that you guys mean the world to me, even if I don't have maybe as many followers or as many people watching as I used to. Like I think that is the case with most channels these days. Unless you've like really switched up your content and tried to do something different. If you're still doing what you're you used to do and that used to work, like it probably is not working anymore. And like, I'm okay with that. I don't see myself completely pivoting just to chase the algorithm at this point, because like, if I don't enjoy the content that I'm making, then you know, what's the point, right? So I love the way that these three colors are working together. This is definitely going to be a very, very, very colorful look and I'm excited. I don't really tend to use a lot of different colors in my looks these days. I feel like, yes, I do colorful looks, but it'll usually be more on like the monochromatic side. So this is fun. Let's see, I think I'm gonna take, let me start with the red shade in my Udensai palette. So I'm gonna grab this one. This palette is still available if you are interested still. I will link it down below. I do think that maybe they will have it on like a Black Friday sale at some point. I'm really not sure. Uh, but there is still stock if you are interested in picking it up. I maybe wouldn't wait like forever if you still want to pick it up, but just know you can still get your hands on it if you want. So I'm going to do this one underneath my eye here and connect it with the purple shade. I think this is going to be really fun. Just going to do that on the outer third or so. I am going to make sure I blend this into the purple as we go here but again i just want to kind of put down the colors first and then work on the blend after i feel like it's a little bit easier than trying to perfect everything with each step because you are just going to have to go back and forth and like do a little bit of extra blending when you're using that many colors so i'm next going to move into the orange which i do think that the orange is a little bit like darker on this card than it is in the pan i just don't know if i have exactly the same color which like isn't even really the point like this is more about inspiration than exact copies and I think this is gonna do the job just fine so I'm gonna do that in the middle underneath my eye and then we'll do some sort of a hmm I even could layer some of the orange shimmer over the top of this when I'm done like that could be kind of fun but this is definitely doing the job and I'll do a lighter yellow in the inner corner afterwards and for that, I'm just going to go back into the Ellis palette and hmm, do I want to use that? I almost feel like this one is a little too, too green. Actually, let me see if I have another yellow that is sort of more what I'm looking for. Yeah, I think this one is going to be a lot better. So I'm taking the Primal palette also from Blend Money. I think this is discontinued, which is really sad. But this yellow, I think, is going to be much more exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that and put that in the inner corner right here. And there will be shimmers added to this look because I am not someone who can do an all matte look. It's just not in the cards for me. I don't enjoy it. I love how it looks on other people, but for me, it's just not really my thing. So I think the mattes are looking really good. I'm just going to finesse everything a little bit to make sure that the blends are looking okay. And then we'll do some sort of fun shimmers to go with this. I could like sort of mimic what I have going on in my crease. I think that could be fun and do like three different shimmers on the lid. So I think I found something that I want to use. I'm going to use the, the Sun and the Sea palette from Bella Beauté Bar and I saw the shade and it's got like some purple in it. It's got some blue in it and I think using that all over the lid is going to look really nice. And then I want to use one of the topper shade from the Ellis palette as well. So this is basically going to be Everything that I want to have on my lid, I might pull in a little bit of this one. I might do a little bit of both, but like mostly this one all over the lid, except for like the inner portion. So I'm going to start by putting down some of my NYX Glitter Primer because that's just what I always do. 
And even if you don't have all of these palettes, which I wouldn't expect anyone really to have all of these palettes unless you are a true makeup lover who buys a lot of makeup, just use this as inspiration. Like maybe you have similar colors in your collection. Maybe you can take a screenshot of the card that I that I got in this and like see if you can do something with the same colors. Doesn't even have to be like in a similar order or anything like that, but just maybe you can make your own look with these colors. And it's just fun, you know? I'm gonna do this. Oh, this is such a pretty shade. I might not even need any of that purple, but I also could use a little bit of it. We'll see. But I'm gonna use mostly the shade because I know it's gonna look great with these colors together. I'm gonna grab a bit of the shade called Mermazing as well, which is the purple, and just do it right in between. Oh yeah, that was a good choice. This is just gonna connect the mattes and the shimmers a little bit easier. Oh, that looks so pretty. That is beautiful, honestly. Like, this is one of my favorite looks that I've done in a long time, and I would not have done a look like this if I hadn't done this challenge, because I just, I don't think I would have had, not that I wouldn't have had the patience, but I don't think I would have been like, okay, today I'm gonna use like six different mattes and a bunch of different shimmers from like different palettes that I probably wouldn't have normally put together, but this is just inspiring me to do something not out of my comfort zone, but just reaching for things that I wouldn't have reached for otherwise. So for the inner quarter shade, I'm gonna use the shade called Supernova from the Ellis palette. And I love this whole row of shimmers. It's just absolutely insanely beautiful. If you are someone who looks at this palette and you like the look of it, but you haven't pulled the trigger yet, but if you think that you're gonna like this palette, trust me when I say you would love this palette because I have gotten so much use out of it. Like, I'll be honest, I would not have bought this palette if I didn't get a scent in PR because I looked at it and I was like, that is so big. I don't need that. Like I already have all of these shades from Lend Money, but so I don't know where my camera just shut off, but I was saying the amount of times that I've used this palette is just way more than I ever thought I would. And I've had such a good time with it. So I will link the palettes that are still available for sale down below if you want to pick anything up or at least just go check them out. But yeah, I, I couldn't recommend this palette enough, honestly, and I know already that it's going to end up super high in my yearly rankings because it's just kind of blown me away with the amount of times that I've used it. So I'm going to finish off. I'm going to put on some lashes. I made another order from Unicorn Cosmetics. I've been waiting for these lashes to come back in stock for like God knows how many months. These are the Wispy Hooded. I really love these. Now they have discontinued my favorite lashes from them, which I forget the name of them, but they haven't had them in stock in like probably a year now, which is really sad, but... I jumped on this and I love that with Unicorn Cosmetics, you can buy bundles and it makes them so much cheaper. So I basically got these like half price. So I think each lash ended up being like $6, which is not bad. So I got like 12 of these and now I'll be set for a long time. So I'm gonna pop these on real quick. I'm gonna finish off with some uh, blush and highlight and lip as well. And I'll come back and show you the final look. Okay, so the look is all done. To finish up, I did sort of a pinkish lip here. I used a lip liner from Pat McGrath, which I literally had it in front of me two seconds ago, and now it's gone. Oh, wait. <laughs> I think I got this in a set like a long time ago. This is a shade called Divine Rose, and I used the So Juicy Plumping Lip Gloss Oil from ColourPop. This is in the shade Flirty Text. I kind of wish it was a little bit more opaque i feel like the lip liner is a little too visible for my liking but it's totally fine it's kind of what i was going for anyway and i think it looks really nice i love this look honestly i think it turned out so good and i'm just really excited to be wearing this the rest of the day and i also have plans later which is good <laughs> because it means the look doesn't go to waste tell me if you know what i mean <laughs> But yeah, this was really fun. Um, I definitely would like to do it again at some point. I don't know when, but let me know if you want to see more videos with the color Q. Also, don't forget to check out my other channel down below if you're interested. Again, I don't post a lot of videos on there, but I will link it in case you want to check it out. So I think that's going to be it for today. If you want to see some more um, like challenges, I guess, I think I have a playlist for that that I can put up on the screen. The videos might be quite old, but maybe they'll be entertaining still. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.